I want y'all to check out these commercials that Kobe Bryant did with Kanye West around 2011, 2012, and they were part of the series of commercials for Nike shoes titled the Kobe System Commercials, okay? And he's promoting the whole Black Mamba thing that... um it says that he had got the idea for the nickname Black Mamba from Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill film. And so he had taken on this name, like making it a trademark. Uh, you can look it all up on that. But with this commercial, and even with the Black Mamba symbolism, serpent symbolism that Kobe took on, um, and I know some people have been making me aware of what's been going on with him going against this high-tech pharmaceuticals, but I'm, I'm not trying to go all into that because um, I'd, I'd rather do more research before I speak on that, um, if I choose to continue speaking on that. Um, but just check out these commercials, all right? I want you to pick up on all the symbolism that you see from the hand gestures to, to the symbols on the clothes, um, all throughout this video, you're going to see um, a lot of questionable uh, symbolism, okay? And um, I'm considering what Stephen Darby said on symbols being the language of Satan, especially when you consider how the languages were divided um, and the Most High didn't want us all together um, being controlled under one uh, worldly ruler, Okay, and the way he was able to um, cause us to, to spread out was by um, confusing the languages, causing us to speak different languages. So for Satan to keep his people connected, um, Satan the devil, well, this is what um, Stephen Darby has said on him believing that symbology is the language of Satan. Not saying that it's totally wrong to use symbols, but I understand what is meant by that, okay? I'm not saying that this is something that's been confirmed in the scriptures, but it is something to think about. Like, if you have these two um, persons, they may not be able to understand each other's tongue, but if you hold up a certain sign or, or put up a certain symbol, they know that you're down. So, check out these commercials and the um all the symbology you see and there's something that's 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 really disturbing how much more do you want from me more how much more successful do you want me to be more successful how many records can my records break more records but but i'm the best but are you a different animal and the same beast what the f does that mean, Kobe Bryant? You're welcome. What the f is he talking about? <laughs> Even asked you. So I should it in. Black Mama doesn't end. Heroes come and go. But legends are forever. <laughs> and you know, it's said that Kobe Bryant had like this workout plan that is referred to as the 666 workout plan. Now, I don't know if that's what Kobe Bryant decided to name it himself, but that's what it's being referred to because of the hours that he put in back and forth training. Like he, he um, spends two hours doing this, two hours doing that. I mean, it, it's broken down. There's a video where he breaks it down, um, but it's being referred to as the 666 workout. Okay, so don't take me as trying to disrespect Kobe. Um, I may even remove some of these videos because I know that there are people 
who are mourning right now, like his loved ones, and there were other people who were um, killed in this, in this crash, and I don't want that happening to anyone, but I will use this in saying that we, we've got to be careful, okay? We've, that's why I know that I really need to talk more about this and talk more about the Bible, but y'all not going to hear me though on that. I mean, you can be as talented or what you see is healthy, um, like when you consider what happened with Left Eye. And I, I believe that she was a very healthy young woman, okay? But none of that matters if you are corrupted spiritually. And Kobe Bryant, he also had this, what was it like a something for children? I had saw um, initially on Sister Radical, the Radical Sisters channel, and the video that she had. Um, it was some sort of thing for kids, and it, it was very, very satanic. Okay, and he had this Muppet-like character representing the Black Mamba snake. And th there were a lot of satanic-looking images. And then you have the lightning bolt that represents um, Lucifer, fallen angel, like a lightning bolt. That's why Harry Potter uses the symbolism. Yeah. Also, I want to say that you cannot talk about Lucifer and the devil without recognizing your creator, okay? You talk about Satan, the devil, Lucifer, you learned about him through the Bible, but then you don't want to accept the creator, okay? And I have a video coming up on um, the one who is more commonly referred to as Jesus, um, Yahshua, I have a video coming up on his existence, since there are many people who deny that he had ever existed, or at least as human form on earth. Okay, so I have a video coming up on that. It's just, just taking me a minute, um, because I always like to check the information that I get for myself. Okay, so that's kind of taking me a minute, but um, I will get back with y'all. Peace.